All right, you guys, what is up? I just had the most crazy week. I have been filming like crazy. I've been studying like crazy. My days have been completely packed to the brim and man, have I gotten kind of exhausted. And I was kind of just on a roll. You know when you get just on a roll and it's just, gets easier and easier and easier to keep being busy like that. And then I decided yesterday to just kind of take a break, take it easy and just take a break because I deserved it. So at like 4 p.m. I decided to like take a break. I was gonna only watch one episode for 45 minutes and that turned into like five hours. I didn't really have anything else to do that day. So it was fine. I like, I still accomplished every single thing that needed to be finished that day. However, it's made me kind of more slower. I've started up this series that I've been trying to film and get done except Problem with that is I can only film one of those videos a day because it's a whole vlog. And I don't have any other sit down kind of videos to do or like more topic videos that would I, I only need like two hours to do. So I'm kind of just in a slump right now. I don't know what to do. And I'm kind of also stressing myself out because I'm the clock is ticking and it is starting to go down and I am not completely ready. Technically I could stop whenever I want. However, I do want to be more ahead and I'm not right now. I just gotta kinda reassess my life right now. Anyways, I'm just sitting on my computer trying to pretend like I'm productive and there's nothing really to do. I mean, I've got a couple different things I could do. I think tonight I'm gonna finish off this one nighttime routine style video that I have. I need to get videos done and I'm not as productive as I'm supposed to be. And it's making me very mad at myself. Ah! Makes me so mad. Not to mention my YouTube channel, like my views are trash right now. So that does not make me very motivated to post anything because no one's watching the videos. So if you're watching this right now, please give me some love and support because I really need it. And this is stressful. I don't think you guys realize how much like goes into these things because everyone kind of just sees the surface level, which I get the same way towards other people too. Like I get that way towards like when other people are posting videos because you just automatically are like, oh yeah, like you only see the, the ending part. So it's really hard, but we're gonna have a good rest of our night. We're gonna go and eat a lot of food and build up my nutrition. We're gonna go watch some movies. We're gonna clean the room, get some things done. I'm actually gonna write down what I'm gonna do tonight because this will help me to check this off, stay motivated and get things done. So we've got three things to finish. These three things will keep me very ahead. So let's do this. Hello, we've got our wonderful mom. Mom's bought a ton of candy. As you can see, these are all like Hawaiian and French. Oh, those are mine. Yeah, these are European candies. European candies. This is for This is probably my favorite part of plane rides is we get snacks. snacks. Lots of snacks. Oh, these are the sour kinds. These are called like suckers. Sour star These are suckers basically. Yummy. These are also really yummy. These are the sour strawberry belts and those are lychee. And those are making gummy bears. We are now eating dinner. We have no food at the moment, or no ingredients to make like full food meal thingies. And so we just ate some fish. Don't eat one of the blob things. Yeah, those are peppers. <laughs> Evie just ate one of the blobs. Did you eat one of the pepper corns? Yeah. Wait, which color? Green. Green. Oh, That's green is one. hotter. It's hot. Yeah. Cora, watch out for the pepper coins. Looks like with a crazy family. in the gym currently as you can tell I decided I wanted to work out um, yes my hair is still up like this so that when I sweat and I work out my curls do not go away as I am still trying to dry them so we're gonna do some ab workouts I think I'm gonna try out one of Chloe Ting's um, 
I have been following her for the longest time. Um, and I want to find one of her programs and I'm going to do that for the rest of the summer because you know what your girl really really needs to actually stick to a routine I need to get better at working out not telling myself oh I'll do it later oh I'll like eventually I'll work out right because that eventually never ends up happening so in case you guys are wondering in case you guys have something you're wanting to achieve and accomplish right like if you're wanting to learn a language or you're wanting to get your degree or read more books something like that you have to make that goal and to, this is my opinion obviously make that goal and you have to just go for it right you can't be like oh yeah i want to do this but i'll do it when i have more time your time will never come you have to actually prioritize it and that's why that's why I never learned French. I have been trying to learn French since I was eight years old. So it's been almost 11 years. And I would learn it and I'd do it for a little bit. I'd, I'd be really good at it for a month and then I'd get busy or I just would learn it later. I'd do it on my mission when I'm gonna, I assumed I would speak French, stuff like that. I'm going to Chloe Ting's fantastic page. She is a genius. Her vi videos get so many views and then people rewatch them over and over and over and over and over again, so they never actually die and like go out of style or whatever because it's it's workouts. Genius. I wish I had that brain. Okay, we got it to work. Let's get this started. Alright guys, we just finished that. We're all done. That definitely felt very good. It's been some minutes since I've been in the gym, but definitely feels so amazing. That definitely got me out of my like upsetness. Let's go finish the day. It's time to clean up my room and read some books. I'm so dead right now. I've decided to make a goal with myself. I am going to do 100 push-ups every single day. So um, I watched a video from a YouTuber that I follow and she was saying something about something she had read in a book, which I find so crazy, but it makes complete sense. So she said that every single day you're either going to increase by 1% or decrease by 1%. Right, so if we just aren't trying to continue to move forward, right, and like accomplish those goals, right, and so like for me, if I just am like, oh, never mind, like I'm not gonna work out today, or I'm, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna improve that 1% or whatever, right? You don't obviously say that specifically in your head, but if you do that, then you're causing yourself to go off one way, right? So you can either go forward this way or this way by 1%. I didn't explain that very well, it made more sense in my head, but anyways, I am going to actually stick to these goals that I have. I want to actually accomplish that. I want to keep feeling good about my body. I obviously am blessed with the body that I have and I love my body and it's many amazing abilities, but I still have some things that I wish I could change or work on, right? Kind of really want to watch my show. I'm trying to decide. We're going to watch my show. It's my favoriteest thing in the whole wide world. My arms feel like jello. It's amazing what 100 push-ups can do to you. I did not do 100 at once. I did like 15, and then I pause, and then I do 10 like on my knees, but still like, they were still good push-ups. I feel so dead. I feel so dead. Everyone is currently packing. I'm so tired. I went to bed too late. I think I went to bed at like 1 a.m. Man, am I so tired. I woke up at like 8.30 and we had church today and they're like, Clay, we're leaving in three minutes. And I was like, <sighs> look, I just pulled my hair out of my plopper, out of my t-shirt. I think there's some couple more things I have to pack, so we're gonna do that, but I'm gonna rest for a minute. Um, everything's still so chaotic out there, but we're doing it. We're getting there. <laughs> Okay, I am back. I had a nice, wonderful night, just relaxing, um, not having to go to bed on time. That felt wonderful. It's been hard trying to go to bed at a decent time, give myself a curfew. Definitely like grows your integrity, I think, is the word you could you could say. Anyways, I'm trying to clean. I don't know what to clean. I've, I've, it's so messy in here. 
but I had something I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I've realized something. A lot of people, all my friends, will always say that I'm super grounded. I'm super ground, well grounded. Or I, I have my stuff together, right? I have my goals, I'm always progressing forward. These are my snacks for the trip, but shh. I'm always progressing, trying to move forward, having goals to just keep achieving. But I realized something. I really love accomplishing my goals. I dream big. However, I have gotten into an issue where I have these goals, right? So these are my goals. I'm here, this is how, this is the end when I accomplish my goals, right? Whenever I accomplish those goals, I'm always, like, I'm never done. Does that make sense? Now it's not like I reassess, I'm like, good job, Clay, that was great. Let's re reevaluate, let's make some more goals and keep going. No, here's my goals. And then there's this wonderful little amount of space right here where it's like, oh, Clay, like, you accomplished those goals, but, like, you could have done better. You could have done this, and this is really actually where your goals should have been met, right? So there's this extra amount of space that's, like, you should have been able to get there. Does that make sense? So I'm never satisfied in myself. And that's really been a struggle for me because I've been doing, I've been working my butt off, I've been filming, I've been really progressing in myself, or at least I, I think that I am. But then when I go to sit down and I reevaluate everything, or I just try to think about it, I'm never satisfied. One, because I'm not being grateful and like giving myself just a pat on the back for like the things I'm accomplishing, right? I'm not acknowledging it, right? I'm not acknowledging and putting value to me being able to achieve those goals. And it's been really hard for me because I've had multiple breakdowns the other day and then today as well, where I was just like, I never feel good enough for myself, right? Now I love, I love getting compliments or like, when other people are like, Clay, you did a great job, right? That always makes me feel good. But it's all this like super temporary stuff, or at least it's almost like a like a roller coaster, right? Like up here is when the, I get the comments or I'm really feeling good about myself, but then I'll drop, right? And I'm like, no, Clay, like you're terrible. Like you're not doing good enough. You could have gone here. You could have like all of this stuff, right? And then I'll go back up and I'm like, I'm great right now. I'm soaring. That's usually when you see me is when I'm like motivational and like, come on, like we can do this. Like you are amazing. And like, I'm so proud of myself for this. But there's always those times when you dip down and it's so interesting because I would have imagined you to be satisfied after you accomplish those goals. It's something learned. And so it's something I'm really trying to work on is being more satisfied in myself or else I am never ever gonna be satisfied. I'm always gonna be working to the next big thing, almost like the grass is greener over here in a sense, but not, right? Because I'm proud of like where I'm at and I'm good where I am, but there's just, oh, I should have I should have gone to here instead of here. I should have overachieved and stuff like that. So that's been a struggle, but um, just find gratitude this week. You know, maybe write down a bunch of things you accomplished and that you're proud of yourself for doing. I'm gonna do the same thing, but anyways, that's that. I hope you guys have a fantastic, amazing, wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you later. <laughs>